Video Productions. What is up, people of YouTube? All right, so today I'm gonna take you on a camping trip that we're going on this weekend. Sorry, I don't have sunglasses, so I'm squinting my eyes. So we got this truck completely locked down. We got all kinds of stuff going, man. We got two ice chests. We got my wife's Yeti over there, the Arctic, styrofoam one, because we, need, we needed more than we thought. TV, fishing stuff, chairs, all this stuff. I'll uh, go over more detail when we get there, and I'll make some uh i'll make some cool stuff about all the things you might want to bring when you're camping so stay tuned all right so back to excessive camping all right so we got a full tackle box here i mean it's completely i mean it's completely full so we got all kinds of bait lures weights hooks all that stuff yeah so, so we got that so if you're camping and you want to go fishing, well, obviously you want to make sure you have all your fishing gear. Holy crap, this is not easy to do with one hand. All right, I'm gonna have to, there we go. Okay, sorry about that, yeah? All right, you gotta have your chairs. Everybody's gotta have a place to sit. And you're gonna need at least twice as many fishing rods as you have people, none of these are rigged up well one is and then uh yeah so let's just go over here back of the truck we got a yeti and like i said i know yeti's getting a lot of flack but this is my wives and it's way too expensive i'm not i'm not blowing up any coolers uh we got all this this had a bunch of crap in it earlier but now it's got some propane first aid uh some lanterns trash bags paper towels this is lights this is a jug for water and then over here we got some lodge skillets, uh, two skillets, one griddle, one of these. I always forget what these things are called by Rome. Make some sandwiches. And we got a bucket, that's to keep our fish if we catch any. I mean when we catch any, some, whatever. Dog food for the dog. Empty bag, some beans, soap. And a big ass thing of water. Here we go, Arctic. That's what everyone's getting now. Because boo, Yeti, right? Boo. And we got this thing packed full. I got more crap in here than I have ice. Has held ice uh, for a while. We got asparagus, chives, uh, sausage, bacon, milk, pineapple juice for, for the old ladies' drink. Some beer, Cokes, water, a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got the axe to cut the wood. We got firewood. We got a waffle maker, people. That's right. Because you can't fucking go camping without a waffle maker. How are you going to eat your waffles? Back here, we got some drinks, uh, liquor, toilet paper, paper towels, some more tackle over there, cereal, not sure what else, straps and bungees to keep everything down, extra extension cord. EDC bag equipped with a PlayStation 3. We had a camping table, but it it's broken. It was my mom's. Here we got the 40 inch TV because you can't rough it without a 40 inch TV. Oh, here's another uh, Yeti jug. Boo, Yeti boo. Okay. Well, let's go on over to the table over here. Let's see how Diesel's doing. Diesel, I should be doing nothing stupid. All right. So we got the Coleman two burner propane grill thing. We got propane, propane accessories, buns for burgers. We got uh, bread, corn on the cob, all kinds of stuff. I'm not gonna even try to go over with it, but coffee and Pam and various dry foods that do not need to be refrigerated, chips and plates, paper plates, paper cups, paper or plastic spoons, forks, all that crap. We got mesquite smoking chips, tableware, full on, complete, cups, cups, plates, spoons, forks, knives, all that stuff. We got some more stuff, this is mostly a pot, fillet knife, fillet board. We got a mallet to get down our steaks. We got lighter fluid, gonna need lighter fluid. 
weights. I believe those are worms, minnows. Uh, I got liver somewhere. Hey, oh, you get them, Diesel. You get them. All right, then we got the, obviously we got the tent set up. And I'm not gonna go into the tent, but it's just an air mattress in there. You have to take my word for it. So um, yeah, if you have all these excessive camping needs, then uh, you're good to go. And I'll throw in some more footage of me just fishing and whatnot. Look at that. That's gonna be fun. All right, guys. Later. Oh wait. All right, guys. So I'm gonna add some more stuff onto what to have. I know this GoPro doesn't do shit with dark uh so i don't know if you can see me right now or not yeah, but over here. we got a little can of beans going on here you know how we're doing that kind of stuff right there there's some fucking raccoons Where? somewhere out here they were out here a minute ago trying to scare them away with a light anyway so we got the steaks on, corn on the cob. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention in the earlier video was to bring a fan. A fan, people. Fans are important. Okay. Then we got a little fishing set up over here. Man, you cannot see crap. You can't see crap without this light. So we got our fishing rod set up over here. Caught a few crappie, nothing. Nothing worth showing, anyway. What's up? Alright, baby. Let's check them steaks. It looks like they're ready. Yeah, flip them, baby. Flip them, flip them steaks. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We got some s'more sauce. Go check out what we got going on here in the tent. Now this is a necessity for any. Butter is in the Arctic. Holy shit, dude. Complicated. Okay, so now this is a necessity. So you got the air mattress right. Got Diesel's cage. Alright. But then, got the EDC bag, power strip, PlayStation 3, and boom, your 40 inch TV. Because really, you're not really roughing it, you know, unless you got the 40 inch TV. Alright guys, so I'll try to add some more stuff on here later. But this is just guys, so I'm, I'm sorry I didn't really get to add more footage to that. Um, the old lady got a little bit sick. We had to leave early and I didn't get to record a bunch of stuff, but uh, it was pretty funny that night, um, the night that after I was making those steaks, I was fishing and I had casted one line out, had two minnows on it, and uh, I left it there because I'd casted it a long time. It was like, cast it out for about an hour and a half, and I was fishing with a different rod and reel and uh, not catching anything worth showing, really, a bunch of little stuff. and. Uh, Anyway, so I guess like catfish, had to be a catfish or something big, usually probably a catfish. Um, I had walked away for about five minutes, not five minutes, I walked away uh, about 15 feet away to grab a drink, a Coke. And when I, when I was over there, I turned and my fish, I saw my fishing rod just fly off those little stands you saw in the video. And uh, yeah, so a fish took my rod and reel. Uh, good thing it was one of my cheap ones. It wasn't a real, a real nice, expensive rod and reel, but still, it's kind of a rookie mistake on my part. So that would have been funny to get on video. Too bad I couldn't get that. Um, but anyway, this is just a video just to show the stuff I bring when I'm camping. I, I try to be a little bit silly with it. I, we do have a bunch of Yetis, and I know Yetis getting a bunch of flack because the NRA stuff, but. Um, I'm not blowing those fuckers up. That's that's ridiculous. Too much money to blow up. But I did buy an Arctic. I was gonna get a Yeti, a Yeti 65 or 75, and I did get an Arctic. So they did get me a little bit on that. Plus, it's like half the cost. So I mean, and it's made in Houston. I drive to Houston at least once or twice a week. So 
I just passed by Bucky's and Bucky's has Arctic's there, so easy to get. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, that's tent camping. You know, I put a tarp under the tent to prevent, you know, bugs and stuff from getting in the tent a little bit better. You spray bug spray all over the tent. The ones that, not like off, that goes on your body, but goes on the tent, you spray that on there. I had some insect repellent in that little yellow jug. It was in the video, but I didn't point it out. Uh, that's really smart to do. Uh, if it's summertime, you're going to want a fan in the tent for sure. Uh, air mattresses are way better than sleeping bags. Like a thousand times better. Uh, I always bring some type of power surge for phone chargers and uh, I do bring a TV uh, even though I really don't watch it much we might watch like one episode of something and then just go to sleep it's nice to have it's excessive you don't need one and it kind of defeats the whole purpose of roughing it and going camping but I've been doing that since I was a kid with those you know big box TVs so it's just something to do um, you know, you're gonna need a, a bunch of food. Arctics and Yetis or Grizzlies or Orcas or whatever coolers are the best. You know, I remember back in the day when we'd go, not like I'm old or anything, but these things are fairly new. Uh, you know, when you bring just a regular cooler, you'd put ice in it and the ice would be water in five hours, especially in Texas heat. You know, it got, a, it was like 96 degrees uh, when I was there during the day. So you know, that turns to water quick and then it you know your food goes bad especially if you're going to be there for a week or something because that arctic i put ice in it on friday and uh it's wednesday it still has ice in it so i mean they they keep ice for a while and that'll keep your food fresh so i do recommend getting one of those nicer coolers they're expensive but they're definitely worth it if you're gonna camp like that they they do they do work um but yeah a bunch of bunch of food you're gonna want meat you know because you're camping you don't want to eat a bunch of vegetables <laughs> so you know bring bring a lot of food bring probably more food than you think you'll have and just cook it you know charcoal uh, wood whatever you use um, and then I think I showed a lot of other stuff in the video you know I brought a propane grill I brought cast iron skillets and griddles because I mean we we are cooking we're cooking on the fire pit we're cooking on the grill and we're cooking on the propane stuff at the same time you know making all different kinds of things um, so food's, you know, really important when you're camping because there's not a lot to do. You know, make sure you bring the right shoes, make sure you bring all the right stuff like that. Um, another thing to keep in mind is, you know, if you have water, like a water source or an electrical source or not. I mean, obviously I'm talking about camping sites that have electrical sources and water sources. If you don't have a water source, then you're going to need to bring a lot of water with you. Uh, we do have a water hookup when we went and most of the time when we go. Um, you know, you could bring a water hose. A water hose is a good uh, thing. If your water source is far away, you can get a water hose and route it to you. You know, you just gotta pay attention to things like that. Things like electrical sources. How far away is it? What's the amperage of it? Uh, just to know, you know, what you can bring and what you can do and stuff like that. I had two electrical cords, two extension cords. They were probably, I think one was 20 foot and one was 30 foot. So I had 50 feet. Oh, shut up, dog. Dog never stops barking at people. Um, and those are like the main things to bring, obviously. You just want to have the right type of clothes, sunscreen, uh, you know, and uh, everything else I showed you. So this video helped you out at all, uh, gave you any insight as to what you might want to bring that you didn't think about, then I did my job, I'm glad. But I was really just showing y'all what I bring when I go camping. You know, I typically go on the weekends, stay, you know, just two or three days and that's it. So anyways, guys, until next time,